Do we really believe that we can create change on issues like homelessness? Do we really believe that we can come together and impact the issues that affect our community and our nation the most? Do we really believe that we have the power to do something about those things that touch us all? Think about homelessness a second. Homelessness has affected our community for decades. Children, families, veterans, the disabled, the mentally ill, people impacted every day. But in a community that helped so many things come to happen, we couldn't make change on homelessness, even though we knew it was so unacceptable. This is veterans homelessness. Traditionally, veterans have been the biggest group of the homeless in America. You go fight for your country and you come back and one out of three homeless people have been veterans. Think about how unacceptable that is. So that begged the question, did we as a community even understand homelessness? Did we even understand the reasons why people wound up on our streets? And if we didn't understand it, how could we ever have the power to create change and change people's lives? That was the big challenge I had when I met people like Nick. Nick's a friend of mine. I met him on the streets of downtown Orlando three years ago when I took the job at the Central Florida Commission on Homelessness. Nick didn't look like someone who should be homeless, but Nick suffered from mental illness, and he had been homeless five years outside this building when I met him. He was stuck in a cycle from the streets to the shelter to the jail to the hospital. We tried so many interventions to help him, but in the end, him and so many hundreds of our friends and neighbors were stuck and stuck with us not being able to help them, not being able to create change. You know, you know it's very easy at times to look at people like Nick and say, they're homeless and they're in a bad situation because they made bad choices. We are all here in the Deepak Center because we make good choices. But sometimes life isn't that simple. Sometimes bad things happen to good people and things that they can't control. So we figured out to start that if we were gonna change lives, we had to change minds. That homelessness wasn't something that we can make an impact on unless we understood it and told stories like Nick's to everyone and anyone who would listen. I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the movies. And I'm not proud of my address. In the torn up town, no postcode envy. Stories are what started changing people's lives. I was a figure skater. I am homeless and I do have a job. I went to modeling school. I served in Iraq and Afghanistan, the real signs from the video. We started telling stories and people started to care and get involved. Big commitments started to happen. We started looking at this idea that because people couldn't change their circumstances on their own, that they needed a home and that the solution to homelessness was when someone had a roof over their head and we made commitments and real commitments to see that happen for people like Nick. The results I will tell you. When we move where you already know, so just imagine. The results have been amazing. This is Nick today. Just a few weeks ago, he moved into an apartment of his own. His life's not perfect, but his life is now starting to transform because the first step in his transformation was help into housing. We found an answer and an answer that worked to create change. But before you get too excited, I want to tell you Nehemiah's story. This is Nehemiah Woody. Nehemiah died on the streets of downtown Orlando two years ago. They actually found his body on my birthday two years ago. It's one of the reasons I remember it. Nehemiah was like Nick. He was a young man with mental illness that struggled. We wanted to understand Nehemiah's death, so we ordered the toxicology report. I have the literal toxicology report right here. No drugs or alcohol in his system. He was just a young man who was sick and looking for help and help that never came for him. We, uh, we mourned Nehemiah 
and others like him at a service later that year. And we had a candle for each person. Every person had a candle who needed, who lost their life. This was Nehemiah's candle. This was literally his candle. And I remember putting this candle on my desk after the service because although we had begun to make change and help so many individuals, we had failed Nehemiah. It was my job to help Nehemiah. And I had failed him. And all that was left of him, all that was left when change didn't happen, was the light from his candle. What is the price when we can't make change? What is the impact when we can for people like Nick? This is the real question that we have today. We can come together and impact issues like homelessness. We can impact so many issues that matter to us. But the real question now for you and for me going forward is what will it take for you and for me to step out of our comfort zone, to answer the call, and to be willing to do whatever it takes to help those in need? My prayer for you and for me is that our light will shine in the darkness, that this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine.